Hi, I'm Mary L. Jessup from the University of Pennsylvania, and I'm here for Science News at the American Heart Association Scientific Sessions in New Orleans. I'm really pleased to be talking today to Dr. Milton Packer from Baylor University Medical Center, who's the principal investigator of the TRUE AHF study. So Milt, please help us understand um, what drug was being tested in this trial? The drug that was being tested in this trial is a drug called Yaleratide. It's a natriuretic peptide, um, same family as Neseratide, except that it's made by the kidney and not by the heart. But the real hypothesis being tested in this trial was whether acute heart failure is similar to acute coronary syndrome. Uh, there's been a lot of thought that when people come in with acute heart failure, there's acute ventricular distension, and that causes micro-injury in the myocardium. And hence the troponin elevation. Hence the troponin elevation and the acceleration of the disease after the patient is discharged. So we wanted to know that if we decompress the heart very quickly uh, with, with a drug that was capable of both intravascular decongestion and cardiac decompression, whether we would reduce troponins and have long-term effects. And so we um, enrolled 2,157 patients across an international trial. Half got placebo, half got the infusion of ulerotide through. Half, half, half. And half raft yes, or both. So all comers with heart all, failure. All, all comers with heart failure, as long as it was acute heart failure requiring admission to the hospital with dyspnea of rest. And it could be acute on chronic. It could be acute or chronic, or it could be just acute. Right. And what did you find? Well, what we found was that Ularitide did exactly what we thought it was going to do. It uh, was a vasodilator, lowered blood pressure, it lowered N terminal pro BNP, it caused intravascular decongestion in the sense that it uh, caused an increase in hematocrit, an increase in serum creatinine, a decrease in transaminases. All the biomarkers All went the, the right biomarkers way. All the biomarkers went exactly the right way, and there was a decrease in the episode of in-hospital worsening heart failure, exactly what you would expect from a drug with this mechanism of action. But? And? There was no change in troponins. There was no change in the rate of hospitalization. And there was no change in cardiovascular mortality. And this is the first acute heart failure trial that was actually powered to look at cardiovascular mortality. So does this mean the hypothesis that what we do early on makes a difference long term? Is this enough? to disprove that hypothesis? There's another trial going on that will examine that question is with a different drug, uh, serolaxin. Uh, I think it makes us feel that this hypothesis, this, this hypothesis has always been on what I would call reasonably weak grounds. Because most of us know when people come in with an acute hospitalization for heart failure, they, they've been getting sick for days beforehand. There isn't an acute event like an acute coronary syndrome. Uh, I think what, what this really says is that the uh, six hours or more for intravenous drug use for acute heart failure isn't where the intervention should be concentrated on. To tell you the truth, the intervention should be concentrated on what happens to prevent the hospitalization. Right. And it, it, it probably matters more what you do between hospital visits than what you do during the hospital. Well, the other thing that strikes me is maybe we've been putting a really very high barrier for new drugs when they're tested in this situation. So is it fair to say that your, your, your new drug, which I, can, I will stumble over, um, is maybe a very beneficial drug, but not in, in when you have to prove that it changes downstream Th that's outcomes. Exactly. Ularitide did exactly what we expected while it was being given. At, it was given for 48 hours, and for 48 hours, it did exactly what you would expect in terms of cardiac decompression and intravascular decongestion. When the drug was stopped, the effects of the drug disappeared. The, the clock was restarted. And, and so I think you're 100% you're right. We've been expecting 
IV drugs for acute heart failure to perform miracles long term. And, and they don't. And it wasn't realistic for us to think so. Well, congratulations on a really well-designed and well-done study, and uh, we'll look forward to our community at large having to process these results. Thank you, Dr. Packer. Uh, thank you. Thank you. This is Science News.